live shows Scott Weiland had performed over the years. December 1st, 2015 would mark his final ever onstage performance. Weiland was touring with his band The Wild Bouts, promoting their debut record Blaster they had released in March earlier that year. Their tour had brought them to Adelaide Hall in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And this is where rock legend Scott Weiland would step on stage and sing for the final time. Adelaide Hall was far from the massive stadium shows that Weiland had played to in his bands Stone Temple Pilots and Velvet Revolver. It was much more of a small, intimate setting. The band played 16 songs that night, including a three-song encore. Seven songs were from the Wild Abouts album Blaster. There were seven STP songs, one Velvet Revolver song, and the Gene Genie, the David Bowie cover. David Bowie, of course, one of Scott Weiland's all-time favorite artists. Some concert goers noticed that when Scott arrived on stage, he appeared to be shaky and moved very slow and somewhat cautiously. However, it wasn't long before he found his groove and joined the rest of the band that was already rocking out. we mentioned before, The Wildabouts played a three-song encore. The first of those songs was Circles from their Blaster album. An amazing track, definitely check that one out if you haven't already. Then Wyland went back to his VR days with Do It For The Kids from Velvet Revolver's debut record Contraband, and finished with the Stone Temple Pilot song from their second album Purple. That was unglued, and this would be the final song that Scott Weiland would ever perform on stage. It was just two nights after performing his final show that, tragically, Scott Weiland was found dead on his tour bus. In the months leading up to his death, it had been noted that Weiland had been drinking off and on again. The one habit, he said, he always found hard to kick. It was noted that some of his live performances were suffering, such as appearing unsteady on stage, singing markedly out of tune and in a slurred voice. This was sad to see from those who were close to him. Not that Scott was always this way, he certainly wasn't. When he needed to pull it together on stage, he could. So just two nights after his final show, a show in which fans in attendance said sounded really good, the band were in Bloomington, Minnesota. They were scheduled to play a gig the following night. And so it was the Thursday night on December the 3rd that Scott Weiland passed away at the age of just 48. The police report stated that the band's tour manager tried to wake Weiland, but he was unresponsive. It was thought that Weiland was drinking heavily while taking prescription drugs, and there were also signs of cardiovascular disease and asthma and that with all these things combined was a lethal combination. A very sad end for an amazing musician, very talented, amazing singer. You only need to listen to his Christmas album to see the range and diversity that he had. So many legendary songs from all the STP albums, 
two very good records with Velvet Revolver and the Wild Abouts Blaster. If you've never heard it, you gotta go check that one out too. So there it is guys, Scott Weiland's final live performance. Many times he graced that stage, but December 1st, 2015, that would be his last. Thanks guys for tuning in. As always, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.